Hey guys and welcome to YouTube Survey 2013 Late Edition So recently I got tagged by my friends Pierce and Dave The Serial Killers, I'll have a link for them below in the description And yeah I was surprised because I don't really do that much So I wanted to record with my camera which is not mine, it's my mum's And this is just going to be me talking to be honest, kind of like a podcast majiggy miggy, which I did like ages ago with a game in front, but this is just going to be a nice thing, you could just listen, you don't have to see my face, which will be pretty scary. So let's get down to the nitty gritty about all these questions. Question number one, what's your biggest fear? So I have two biggest fears, I have clowns and spiders. Firstly we'll go on to clowns, so I've been to my fair share of circuses and I hate them. Their painted smile is the worst because you know they're thinking that they're going to kill you and probably rape your corpse. But with their smile, they look so innocent. Little kids love them. It's like the Joker's smile, but I love the Joker because he's cool. So on to spiders. I don't really like house spiders. I, I can point them with my hands, but house spiders are little. So I hate little spiders. Any spiders that are below say two inches three inches i hate tarantulas I like the chili rose spider or the trillios tarantula you might say are beautiful i love them they are amazing and i really want one as a pet so number two how did you find out santa wasn't real well i've given some, this some thought and i asked my parents and they didn't know nothing they were like how did you <laughs> So I made up my own little story for it. Okay, so when I say I made my own story up, I'll be making an unlisted video for you guys to click on the link below in a few weeks or t few weeks time because I need to record it and everything. So the story's there. The story's also out. I just need family and support. Thank you. Number three. What's your best idea you've ever had? The best idea is probably my future. I've got it all planned out. The woman, the house, the kids, my job, but we all know I'm gonna be sleeping on the streets in a couple of years, eating out of bins, licking the pavements to taste the sweet, sweet leather of a rich man's shoe. I'm thinking I could have been him. Number four, the most embarrassing thing your parents have ever done. So I kind of read this question wrong and thought parents was you, and yeah, I wrote a massive script about me failing and failing and everything, so I'm changing the question to most embarrassing thing your Ewan has done. Yeah. So you guys know that I'm perfect in every way and I have no faults and everything, but surprisingly I did find a fault, which is weird because I just said I had no faults. So when I was in primary, we all had our leave leavers play when you was in year six and you're going into year seven into a new different school. It was pretty popular back then in year six. I was played for the football team, got all the year six bitches, and I had some pretty decent friends who were also the footballers and everything. I had to play in the year six leaving play Elvis Presley from the Rocky Horror Show. So I had to sing my own song, get my hair all done, get in a suit. Back then I had long hair. So if you want to switch now, you'll see a picture of me with long hair, which is pretty embarrassing. So I went to, over to my sister's and she kind of like, pulled all my hair back, I'm doing it with my hair right now, which is stupid, and like bobby pinned it up, like hair gripped, that's it, yeah, and all put it back and everything, so I had a massive quiff like I have now, and I know all that sexy lip action, which the, uh, but seriously, <laughs> I did look like a washed up old drag queen, I looked so bad, I wore a suit that was five sizes too big for me, so I had to like pin everything back and, uh and then the teachers came up with a brilliant idea of me having an inflatable purple guitar. And I thought at that time, because I was year six and I was young, helpless, beautiful, not really beautiful, you just saw the picture. I was like, that would be awesome. It wasn't. It wasn't the best thing that's ever happened. So overall, I had to do three performances. So I was singing to around 100 mums and dads and like 500 students at the school, which was horrible. I would like to say this ruined me, but it kind of made me a bit more popular. People sometimes call me Elvis Presley, which is 
I don't know if it's a compliment or an insult. Question 5. If you're only allowed to pick one career for the rest of your life, what would it be? Simple. I would either be a director of short films, normal films, any films, AAAA films, AAAA films, massive films, a director of games, director of anything. I just love to be leading, love to be in front. Or I want to do what I want, what I am doing now as a living. So I want to get paid for being a YouTube content creator and enter entertaining tons and tons of people. So that was all the questions, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I have no friends to tag, so it'll, the train of one person will end with me. So thanks for da to Dave and Pierce. Link to their channel below for tagging me in this. So this little end segment is about where ha I have been. I am gutted. I haven't been recording anything. I love recording. It's it's amazing getting to talk to a few people at least. Last video was probably in August, which is two, three months ago, and yeah, I ain't really been thinking about YouTube that much. I've been watching YouTube, but I haven't been using it that much, so uh, it's probably because I've been focusing on my GCSEs, because I'm year 11 now, and I'm leaving school in five months to go to college, so YouTube's not a priority at the moment, but I'll try and get as many things as I can out. So if you like these podcasts or anything, because I ain't got a camera yet, uh, please leave a like, subscribe, or even comment if you really want. And I will see you guys later. Bye.